When offshore oil platforms stop producing, they are usually removed. Seems like a no-brainer, especially after Katrina and the BP oil disaster. But some want to keep the platforms in place because, as Chip Reed tells us, after decades in the sea, something magical happens. 38 miles off the Louisiana coast, this platform stopped producing oil more than a decade ago. John Hoffman is the CEO of Black Elk Energy. This is one of your rigs? Yes. What is scheduled to happen to this rig? Uh, this rig is scheduled to come out of the water this year. Hoffman wants it to stay where it is to see why we boarded a mini submarine to look beneath the surface. There's a target on sonar 50 meters out. Past the murky shapes of dolphins yeah. and sharks, we found an explosion of color and life. We're now 100 feet down, and that is not a coral reef. That is that old, unused oil rig. It's like being in a fish tank. The rig's coral-covered legs attract thousands of sea creatures. It's a magnet for fishermen and known to scuba divers as an underwater Garden of Eden. Is it similar to a coral reef? Yes, it is. Dr. Paul Samarco is a biologist with the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium. He says there are hundreds of old oil platforms that look like this, but under federal law, they're required to be removed in the next few years. When we put these platforms in, we had no idea they were going to develop into these massive artificial reefs. They are more environmentally valuable in the water than they are scrapped out of the water. Ronnie Anderson, a fourth-generation shrimp fisherman, couldn't disagree more strongly. So you'd like to see those old rigs gone? Yeah, I would like to see it cleaned up. The Gulf bottom, he says, is littered with old pieces of oil rigs that get caught in his nets. Oh, this cost me a night's work. It will only get worse, Anderson says, if dilapidated platforms are allowed to remain as reefs. The oil companies say it's all about the environment. What do you say it's about? I say it's about saving money. If it's going to cost them more money to make a rigs to reef, they're not going to do it. They're only doing it because it's saving them money. That's the bottom line. It would cost John Hoffman about $3 million to remove this rig, money he'd rather put into a trust fund to preserve the reef. Just a wonderful ocean of, uh, of mystery and intrigue associated with these ecosystems. The BP disaster and other spills earned these platforms a reputation for harm. Now they are showing their other side, underwater worlds brimming with life. Chipri, CBS News, off the coast of Louisiana.